Hi, I'm Raymond Camden, and today I'm going to give you a quick introduction to how to use the Firefly Services API. Uh, this was just announced at Adobe Summit about a week or so ago. And Firefly Services covers a variety of different APIs, including the Photoshop APIs that I've spoken about in the past. Uh, but today we're going to show just a real simple example and that is the text prompt to image API. Now, this particular API can get pretty complex and powerful, uh, but we're gonna build an incredibly simple demo that will just take a prompt and give us an image. Now, I'm gonna use Python for my sample. You can use any language you want. In the uh, video description, I will share a link to the source code so you could take a look at it yourself. Let's take a look. So up on top, I am going to read in my credential information. You need two credentials, a client ID and client secret. The first thing I'm gonna do is exchange that client ID and client secret for an access token. Now we document that process. It's basically just hit this URL, pass in your credentials and use this hard coded list of scopes. You can copy that right from our docs or right from my sample code, and you will get a access token back. Pretty simple. I then want to hit that API that I just showed you. Uh, and again, it can get pretty complex, uh, but we're going to keep it rather simple and just do the prompt. You can see that right there on line 18. And I'm going to ask for four images back so we have more results to play with. Uh, but uh, if I wanted the bare minimum, I would pass just the prompt itself. But that's all it takes to, you know, I pass that to um, the API endpoint, and then I return that information. So here is the actual code that's going to make use of the API. I have a hard-coded prompt, stacks of paper piled on a desk. I'm going to call that method I just uh, showed you, and then I'm going to dump out the result. Now in the result, we're gonna have four URLs uh, that point to what Firefly generated. So this code down here is basically going to loop over those four results, download the data from the URL, and just save it to my file system. So let's take a look at that. I'm a Node.js developer, so I sometimes add semicolons when I don't need it. I apologize. Let's run this. Python 3, firefly.py. And right now it's passing in my, my credentials, getting the access token, hitting the um, API, getting that result back. And you could see this is the JSON packet. You can see it includes information about how it worked, what it did. Um, each result will have a particular image seed. And then also each result will have that pre-signed URL, and that's what we're using in the code to actually download the result. And we could take a look at them. I saved them locally. Let's make that a little bit bigger. And lovely. So again, this was 40-ish lines of code, not much at all. It is a very easy API to work with. Let me know if you have any questions.